<laughs> Security or data breaches can happen to any company. And it teaches us, we've seen the headlines, we need to be more careful. Yeah, the new book, Bullseye Breach, goes behind the sensational headlines and uses fiction to teach readers how the bad guys operate and how we can protect ourselves. Joining us is author Greg Scott. Good morning, Greg. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, for here. Well, thanks for being here. First and foremost, let's give a little bit about your background. You are you're from the Twin Cities. Yes. And you, this is your first book. You're not an author by trade. What's your background? I'm a IT guy. I've been fascinated by IT topics since I had hair on my head. Yeah. <laughs> that was and that was a long time ago. Well, and let me the subtitle, if we, we saw the cover a few minutes ago, mm -hmm. Anatomy of an Electronic Break In. What how does in layman's terms, because I mean look who you're talking to, <laughs> how does an electronic break in really work? Because we've seen the headlines, as I said sure. in the intro. Yeah, um, in this story, a Russian mob boss orchestrates a bunch, of, a bunch of bad guy professionals all around the world to find the passwords of a, of a, a plumbing contractor. The plumbing contractor logs into the Bullseye Stores website. That's my fictional company that, that was, that was um, breached. They log into the Bullseye Stores website and they do that for invoices. It turns out the guys at Bullseye Store made some mistakes. They let their outside contractors access their whole entire network. The Russians steal the passwords, so now the Russians can rip, can rip through the whole entire network. They go through a series of deep probes until they find what they're looking for, which are the point-of-sale systems at every single store. They penetrate 20-some-odd thousand point-of-sale systems, and 40 million credit cards travel the Internet back to Russia. It's like a Law & Order episode. It is. Ripped from the headlines, <laughs> well, it's, because it's funny, too, because you, you told me you were during the break, when Alex was uh, yapping at models, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah. she was talking about, you were talking about how you, you set up, you, people don't, get it how important this is and you set up to write a how-to book and then realize people are still going to glaze over at this yes and so my correct. favorite thing you said just while i go is it's got dead bodies in it dead bodies <laughs> that are just floating in the water i mean that's well don't think about it that's an exciting tale to be told this sure. is you know the michael crichton-esque story of <laughs> of data breach security is that is is that what you intended then as you went into this when you transferred over from a how-to manual yes if I'm going to go to the trouble of writing a book, yeah. it would be really good if people read it. Oh, yeah. And so that's, um, nobody reads the how-to stuff. But if you read this book, you'll get a little bit of how-to stuff. And then maybe you'll go down to the bookstore and buy some of the in-depth things. Or maybe call me and I'll teach you some of the in-depth yeah. things that you need to know. That might even be better, won't it? Well, yeah. let's jump from fiction to nonfiction. Sure. You have people's attention right yeah. now. We we're talking about the glazed, the glazed eyes, mm -hmm. because we all know what breach means. But I think when we, when IT guys use the big computer words, that's when it happens. Sure. If you could tell the Buzz viewers right now, what is the number one thing they can do to to prevent or to keep their online life safe and secure? Diligence, by far, far and away, number one, diligence. You can only solve a problem if you care about enough, care enough about it to solve the problem. Be diligent. When an email comes in and it's coming from somebody who claims to be from Africa that wants to put a million dollars in your bank account, <laughs> don't open the attachment. Keith. Yeah. Uh, just, I'm always hoping it's going to be one yeah. of these days. If you get an email that claims to come from your technical support department and they want you to send back their password, don't do it. That, that sounds so obvious when you say that on, on, on television, but I've had victims come to me with that problem and I've had to help clean up. It, it, it blows my mind. If you get um, a solicitation for antivirus products. Click here to clean up all Oof. the viruses on your computer. Don't click here. <laughs> Don't do it. Because if you do click here, you're going to call me and I'm going to spend a whole bunch of your money to clean up your com to really clean up your computer. And like read it. you uh, excerpts from your book. That's, 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 like a good, <laughs> that's an impassioned plea. I like that. Uh, but data breaches are going to happen, though. There's no way that they're not going to happen. And they may or may not impact folks directly uh, on a personal level, on a business level. What should our step be once we are breached, so to speak? This is the biggie. Mm -hmm. it's, you're right, it's going to happen. Some of the vendors are more mature about it than others. Share. You get breached, you've been violated, it's embarrassing. And the first thing that happens is everybody clams up and nobody talks about what happens. So people like me make up stories to invent kind of what happens so that the world will know. Share. Share the technology of what happened. Share your mistakes. Share what you did right. Share what you did wrong publish it, put it out there on the internet for the world to see. If we get together and we share this stuff, mm -hmm. we all learn, we're all stronger. If we all, if we all isolate and huddle in holes because we're embarrassed, then the same thing's gonna happen again to the other guys down the street. 
right? We have 15 seconds. Uh, the Bullseye Store. I've never. I don't know where you got. I, I don't know what your inspiration was for that. <laughs> well, my publisher tells me there's a politically correct answer I'm supposed to give about yes. about about any resemblance. Can we hear it, Greg? Yeah, any any resemblance to any characters, both living or dead, is. You, you readers can can judge their own judgment on who that belongs to. I love it, buddy. <laughs> and real quick before we go, Greg, where can people find the book? Book booksellers anywhere. Mm -hmm. www.bullseyebreach.com. B U L L S E Y E breach dot com. Go to go there and you can click all the buttons to buy it from anywhere you want to buy it. I right love there. It. Congratulations, buddy. Oh, thank I, I, you. I, this is fantastic. I love the cover too. All Thanks right. for having Greg me. Greg Scott, thank you for being here this morning. Well, thank you. Thank you. All right. It. Again, the book you're still looking at it right there is called Bullseye Breach, and as Greg said, it's available now. For more information, go to bullseyebreach.com. Look at that. There's my cover. Right there's right? your cover on the TV. <laughs> Here's right here too. I like it. Yeah. All right.